Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video. As you can see, I did a thing. I totally did a thing. So uh, I recently did a video on me panic selling my bags. This is the reason. And I'm sure you can already guess what I'm about to show you. But this opportunity came about and I wasn't really looking to purchase this particular bag. Uh, but it was the combination of color and everything that I just like, okay, I just take my money, just take my money. So that's why I had a, like a mi minor uh, meltdown and started going through all of my collection and decided to let a couple bags go that I have not been using for a little bit. So let's just get right into it. Let's not waste any time at yibber yabbering and me going a million miles an hour with like 50 different excuses for myself <laughs> that I've created to justify this crazy purchase again for me. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Look at this! Oh my god! Oh my god! <coughs> my dog's freaking out because I'm having a melt meltdown right here. But this, look at me! Come here! You're ruining my bag, Mivio. Q, stop it. Go away. So this is my first Birkin ever. Uh, this is a size 35, and I'm pretty sure this is Clemence leather and it is in a maroon color. I don't know the name of the color. Uh, there's like 50 of them, but I got this one um, from the Japanese vintage market, and this bag is, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. And it's in excellent condition, like literally. So you can see just the quick tour of the bag. I mean, I'm sure you've seen like a million 35s out there, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but you can see like the corners are just pristine. And they said that this is a rank SA condition, meaning that it is close to new condition. Um, it's not like brand new condition. There's a little bit of scuff right here, but you can barely see it. And the handles are just like immaculate. The shape of it as well. Um, there's like barely any scratches on the hardware. Just like micro scratches. And then you can see um, the Hermes logo and everything. And then the inside of it is just, again, open compartment and there's no mold, there's no stains, no anything. So I'm like ecstatic when it comes to getting my first Birkin. And I knew I didn't want like a black Birkin. I definitely always want to go with gold hardware, but I didn't want like a black color. I already have a gold. Uh, I've had enough neutrals uh, in my collection. So I figured when this color came about, I was just like, uh, yes, take my money. Uh, I'm very happy because it's in a really dark maroon color. It seems a little bit powdery coming through the camera, but in real life, it is a rich um, maroon color, which suits me just perfectly. I'm just like ecstatic. I, I don't even know what to cover here, but <laughs> I just wanted to show off this bag because I'm so happy. And um, it's something I didn't know if I wanted because I always thought that I was more into the Kelly just because I really like the shoulder strap and the one top handle. And I always thought that this is not as functional just because it's only for hand carry or on the crook of your arm. I also decided against like the size 25 and the size 30 because when they're astronomically like overpriced right now. They're double for retail and I just, I can't bring myself to pay over retail uh, for any bag. So, and then the other portion of my logic, my crazy ass logic, is that um, I am 5'8", right? So I know mini bags are in right now, but I am 5'8", and the straps for these, and that's the biggest complaint for most people, even when they're, you know, shorter or they're, you know, more petite, is that it's not long enough for you to put into the crook of your arm, and I've got giant, giant ass monkey arms, so that definitely wouldn't work. I've tried on the size 30. Yes, I could push it and use that, you know, you know, just like right here, but I don't feel like that's gonna work out for me. This one rests really easily to the actual crook of my arm. So if I wanna carry it that way, that is an option. And of course I can always hand carry it at any time. It is a pretty heavy bag, but when it's an Hermes Birkin, you gotta make that exception, right? especially when you factor in all of the, the you know, limitations that I have as a person and why I need a size 35. And of course, I do appreciate that, you know, the size 35 is the original size. If you want to go classic, you got to go with the 35. Yeah, if you hand me, if an essay offers me a 25 or 30, 30 at the boutique, uh, yes, I'm going to say yes. I'm not going to say no to that. But if I were to, you know, look at the pre-love market, 
I think the most reasonable pricing and of course, um, logistic wise, I feel like the 35 fits me the best. Obviously the 40 is way too big. I don't even know what to do with that. So that's kind of how I went in a roundabout way saying, yes, I can justify making this purchase. Just to give you a weight of the bag, because I don't think, I was looking like literally before deciding to purchase this bag, everybody talked about the logistics or everybody talked about the handles. They talked about the size. Nobody ever talked about the weight. And I really want to know the weight of an Hermes uh, Birkin bag, right? So let me just kind of show you for those who are considering purchasing uh, a bag for yourself, you know, a Birkin bag. Cause the weight, they, they all talk about, hey, oh, it's really heavy, but like, let's put some numbers to it, right? So here it is in grams. This is empty bag with the key and the crochet. It is about, I don't know why it's moving. Um, it is about one kilo, 1.1 ish kilo, 1.15 ish kilo in terms of grams. In terms of pounds, it is two pounds and about 11 ounces. I don't know why that's moving. Is it like tilting? Um, so yeah, let's just say it's about two pounds and 11 ounces, which is not horrible considering that this is a bigger bag. And of course, if you decide to load up stuff in there, it's gonna get much heavier, especially when it's going to be on the crook of your arm. I can't imagine this with a shoulder strap and how it's gonna weigh down on my shoulder. So I'm kind of glad it doesn't have the shoulder strap. Um, but overall it is, you know, usually I try to stay underneath two pounds, maybe a pound and a half when it comes to my bag. But this one is just a little over two pounds. So I will make an exception when it's an Hermes bag. <laughs> In terms of pricing, just to give you an idea, I did purchase this from Japan and this was during when their rates were, basically the yen was tanking um, for a couple of days and I took this opportunity to snag this bag. Um, did I get a deal? Kind of, I also, I don't know if you, Birkins in the retail, in the Japanese retail market, just so you know, definitely go way higher than um, the Kelly's. There's a lot of Kelly inventory out in the Japanese vintage or pre-owned market and there's a wider range of selection that you can choose from and you can get it for a better price. When it comes to Birkin, they hold their value very steadily in Japan. So did I get a deal? Yes, if you think about it that way. Um, I saved a lot of money by having that quote unquote pre-spend to get a quota bag. I didn't have to do that. And number two, um, for this 35, and if I did my research correctly, I think this could have been sold for at least fifteen to $18,000 here in the States. I should purchase this bag for about $9,000, which I think, again, is a great deal considering the, the aspect of it um, and the, the condition of the bag. And again, the currency of that particular day I paid for it worked in my favor. I saved probably around four to five hundred dollars um, because you have to do you have to check the currency and, and what that rate is that particular day. If, or if I were to buy it on a regular, you know, just another typical day, right? You just gotta do your calculations. Now, am I going to baby this bag or am I gonna start actually using it like any of my other bags? I don't know. I'm so torn right now. I actually have this bag on my bookshelf. Um, Toby bag from Staub was there as like my art piece. I was like, move out of the way, Toby. You're, you're going upstairs. Uh, and I put this uh, in place of that so I can look, admire and look at it um, and just brings me joy. My boyfriend comes into my room. He's like, wow, seriously, you moved Toby for this bag? Obviously, Toby, I get to see every day. He follows me everywhere. So, I mean, Toby bag can go take a rest upstairs. <laughs> so yeah, I'll let you know what I end up deciding to use it. Am I going to use it like a regular bag or am I going to baby this? Now, if I bought this from the boutique brand new, I'm totally going to baby it, just like I did with my Pico tin, which I, again, I'm gonna start using that Pico tin like a regular bag and not completely baby it and just keep it in on my closet or my shelf. Um, so I, again, I bought this pre-loved, so I feel like maybe it's okay to use it, right? It's okay to bring it out to the world and, you know, not ha have it, you know, be afraid to get it scuff scuffed up because it is a little bit scuffed up, but it's not. It still looks like a really brand new bag. Oh, I totally forgot to show you. Um, this is a bag from I in Square. So that means that this bag is from 2005 and technically this bag is 18 years old. And look at this. You just don't, you don't, oh, it's amazing. I don't know. You know how I'm gonna go on rambling about how 
um, Hermes just produces quality. This is quality. The person who had this obviously kept it in really good condition. Um, so that also contributes to it. But an 18 year old bag for it to look pretty much brand new and for decades to come. And of course, if I ever want to get it repaired by Hermes, this is a bag that we can uh, get it restored or cleaned up and whatnot. So ah, I'm so thrilled. I will let you know uh, as I progress in the months and if I decide to use it, uh, how I use it, and uh, of course the wear and tear on this and the functionality of it, I will give you the good hard truth about this bag if you are considering um, utilizing this or adding this the, to your collection. Sorry, this, this video has literally been all over the place. I'm just ecstatic about this bag, really happy that it is in my collection. If it will be in my collection forever, I can't tell you because I don't know. That's just uh, me being honest here. So I really hope that you enjoyed unboxing this bag with me. Let me know if you have any questions. I know uh, as you're doing research, there's a lot of questions that you know the YouTubers and your research that they don't provide the answers to. So hopefully I can help you. So I do encourage you to ask questions or just let me know what you think about this bag. Hit that like and subscribe button as you are on this journey with me as I grow and shrink my collection and my crazy ass thought process on how to buy bags, how to sell bags, um, what other alternatives there are. I do hope to see you back and definitely check out this other bag review here and whatever the YouTube algorithm thinks you'll like here. Life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and less than retail. See you next time.